Christwood here, November 17th, 2021, 10.30 a.m. I am the intended murder victim from Ontario Provincial Police, Spencer Mills, 14716 Lennington, Annington, Napanee, Ontario, Canada. He is a stalker. He is a drug trafficker. He is a human trafficker. He is an obsessed piece of shit garbage. Him and his boyfriend, William Billy Wolders of 149 Center Street North, are killers. Injuring, torturing, brain damaging, lobotomizing victims, sodomizing victims, kidnapping victims, using your badge, using your law, using lies and false guise of law, criminalizing your victims to justify the crimes that you are committing against them. You are guilty of putting William Billy Woldridge's prisoner tracking on me. You are guilty of kidnapping me 24 hours after asking for help with your arrest, with Spencer Mills' arrest and other cops and doctors and your boss boyfriend, William Woldridge of 149 Center Street North. I have remote narrow monitoring you saw me 24 seven, two plus years. I've been surrounded with hands-on guns by cops to prevent anything legal on them or William Woldridge or doctors. I've been charged by co-conspired. I've been charged by the cops and doctors to prevent legal help, to prevent medical help, and anything else assuring this against me because I spoke of police crimes so they co-conspired for me speaking up and wanting their arrest for two years but yet they can conveniently do it to me they can charge me for harassment for me telling of what crimes has taken place whom who is doing it and who needs to be arrested and who needs to be charged because they are Hawksbury doctors in Napanee and they're getting away with serious felony crimes using the fact that they are doctors using their positions using their credentials as a means to do it and get away with it without suspicion and when you try to save your life against them from the crimes that they are committing they will co-conspire to criminalize you to try to have you locked up. Spencer Mills has tried everything against me. He's went the drug route. He's a drug cop. I do not do drugs. He's insinuated himself into my life ever since he showed up my door. For me, speaking of Morningstar mission crimes that had nothing to do with drugs, he's insinuated himself into my life because he is part of the human traffickers and that's how they were getting their victims from there. So me speaking up about it, as a result, Spencer Mills showed up at my door after me talking to Stacy, his partner at mental health and walking out on her. And then conveniently after Mills showed up at my door to threaten and intimidate me about the mission, the chief conveniently goes by in a white Jeep followed by a black truck where a guy with black hair leans out the fucking window, points something at me, shoots it, goes into my right ear. I've been fucked ever since. That's when I started having problems. I started getting the burning. I started getting the numbing. It went from into my ear, into my neck, and down and around to the top of my head. I go to the hospital to conveniently find out what is going on. And Stacy was there. 
convenient of saying she was there for my benefit, for me having anxiety, for me having all those other problems and bullshit, which is certainly not true. I had no association with the psychotic lying bitch, but she talked to her girlfriend, the one that done my CAT scans. And ever since then, I've been medically blacklisted. All I get is we see in your file, we see in your file, or I just was not treated or seen when I was going up to the hospital. They're making it sound like this is a mental illness, but of course they got to do what they got to do to try to get away with it. They got to do what they got to do to try to reflect it on me. They can't let it be known that they are using fucking tech and people to lobotomize that they are using for electroshock and that they are using it to mentally murder people taking their memories using mk ultra benefits the fuck out of you doesn't it spencer mills and the rest of the cops you know the day shannon cork showed up at my house for her for her street seat or bullshit hoping that i would react when william billy woldridge went by that was all a game it was all 100 percent a fucking game and then when i demanded she arrest her boss she laughed in my face, told me to file a report, knowing that if I would have, would have done no good, would have got ripped up, tore up, not that stupid or naive. Sorry for your luck, you fucking dummy, for you thinking that I'm not dumb. But anyway, ever since, and then, and then... They've gotten lies against me. I go to different hospitals. They get phone calls stating that I'm suicidal. I'm not suicidal. Never have been. I was there to try to find out what was going on to save my life. So that was 100% lie. But I had my long hair at the time and my beard and I have tattoos. So they bought it. And then they got calls again another time stating that it was drugs or whatever. So I was not taken serious and I was not treated so it worked and then 24 hours after me back in may of this year of 2021 when i asked for more help with legal help and charging and arresting of cops and doctors 24 hours later they conveniently showed up and kidnapped me all through shelly huffington's lies she conveniently lied to a judge in kingston ontario about incompetency bullshit but that's what that was about that was just bullshit that was actually about getting me taken to a different city where they could threaten where they did threaten under life threats and arrest to have my blood and my piss taken and then left that was in hopes of trying to discredit me. That was in hopes of trying to get rid of me. That was in hopes of trying to shut me up so I would not be talking about what has taken place with me now and showing the proof. Me going through my identity theft, me being physically fucking deformed and injured and tortured and not being anything to do about it because of the lies cast against me and with the doctors involved here in Napanee with the cops and me being poor on disability then you know they automatically assume that this bullshit lies against me is true they've had lies cast against me stating i've been in and out of jail and prison my whole life i have no criminal history that is certainly not true that was bullshit lie They've stated lies against me that I've been in and out of mental institutions, hospitals, and whatnot my whole life. That is not true. I've never been in one. Never. So that's William Billy Woldridge's life that they are lying about. They're casting his life onto me. And I will not be proven wrong. They do not have to answer for it. They do not have to prove it because they have immunity, because they are cops, because they have their positions, they have their badges, they have their credentials, they have their money. And when you're in this together, committing crimes against people, you know it's a lot easier for you to get away with it, to commit the crimes and to cover them up. 
you speak police crimes, you will be injured, you will be tortured, you will be medically blacklisted. You will not be able to, you will have your human rights taken away. You will have your legal rights taken away. You will have your medical rights taken away to assure that they get away with these crimes. Spencer Mills, Staff Sergeant, Chief now gone, Shannon Cork, Robert Kane, Robert Lucas. Stacy, a mental health worker, was Daily Tea Company, Lennox and Eddington, now Kingston, short blonde hair. Shelly Huffington, I believe that's her last name, Huffington, was Daily Tea Company, mental health worker and co-worker to the cops involved. And then there is doctors. I would go to the hospital. I was either not seen or I was belittled and treated like a piece of shit to the point where I was walking out. And this was done on purpose, and that way they could turn it around on me and say I was refusing treatment and I was this and that. No, it had nothing to do with that. That's about being belittled and treated like a piece of shit. I've been called retarded. I've had been laughed at over sodomy. Doctors thought that was funny. I've had doctors call me retarded. I've, told, I've had them... Tell me that my skull swelling means that I need a psychiatrist. It obviously means that one person is crazy for being deformed. And that's the kind of bullshit I've been going through over the last two plus years. I've been wanting arrest. I've been trying to get arrest. I've been trying to get legal help. I've been trying to get medical help. But because of the remote neuro monitoring on me, they see everything I see. They know everything I know. They hear everything I hear. I've been getting stopped every step of the way so you know they cannot have a get note that they are cops and doctors human trafficking committing sodomy having sex with children injuring and torturing their victims for pleasure and to get out of crimes lobotomizing their victims in hopes that their victims will forget about what has taken place with them and then changing identities, stalking them, putting prisoner tracking onto them for identity thefts and framing. And that's all Spencer Mills and William Aldridge, Staff Sergeant Chief now gone. They are threats and dangers to society. They are human traffickers. They are using their badge, false guise of law, and their doctors to commit crimes and using judges to aid in their felony crimes for kidnapping and that once again was to shut me up to try to shut me up and try to discredit me this has nothing to do with hate about cops this has to do with these pieces of shit garbage committing serious fucking crimes on me i believe time has been wasted time bought this will be turned around on me 100 percent guaranteed and they're buying time knowing that this is coming up for me next month where they can fuck me over, where they know that they are going to end up getting me locked up so Spencer Mills can get rid of me and the rest of them once and for all so they can get away with the crimes that they are getting away with. And knowing I cannot get medical help, knowing I cannot get legal help. So you've assured this, Spencer Mills, with your boyfriend, William Aldridge. Of 149 Center Street North, you cocksucking piece of shit garbage. You are nothing more than a fucking punk cop terrorist. Staff Sergeant is nothing more than a sodomizing motherfucker. I shouldn't say motherfucker, you do man. Because you can. My fucking skull is pretty much being fully deformed. It goes from flat to round, from flat to round. I've had serious skull deforming and shrinking in my skull, in my face. I've been proving it. And right now, I'm getting electricity in the back of my head where that spot is. I'm being seriously fucking numbed. 
I'm having shit go through my body. It can all be 100% proven. I've had two CAT scans in two plus years, and apparently that means nothing is wrong with me or I've been refused medical treatment. So the ones responsible for this can get away, and it's all based on 100 fucking percent lies that Spencer Mills needs to prove. And so does Stacy, the ones that conveniently left to further distance themselves from this, but still very much involved. You are murderers, nothing more. You were fucking scum. Spencer Mills, 14716, Ontario Lennox, Connecticut, Ontario Provincial Police. Staff Sergeant Chief Nelgon, Shannon Cork, Robert Kane, Robert Lucas. The doctors. Stacy's girlfriend, William Woldridge of 149 Center Street North. Once again, Blair Hardy, using remote neuro monitoring, Clearview AI for victims, putting prisoner traffic. Tracking on me for stalking, framing, kidnapping me through lies for my blood and my piss. You have my forgery, Spencer. You have my signature, Spencer Mills. And you can use it for forgery and fraud. And it's not above or below you. Same with the rest of them. You need jail. You need arresting. You're lucky you have immunity. And that you can get away with this. You're lucky that you have that badge and you're lucky you have those positions and the, the immunity for the crimes that you were fucking committing, using that badge to commit crimes outside of it while using it to get away with them. And I won't be proven wrong, right, Spencer Mills, right, William Aldridge? The cops in this town, they answer to him. They do not answer to Commissioner Simple. They answer to William Aldridge. They take their orders from him. They serve and protect him and themselves and their own criminal interest here in Napanee while fucking everybody else preventing help. But you know, they gotta do what they gotta do to get away to, to assure that they can get back to business. They will criminalize their victims for trying to get help against them. Beware of this.